let's talk about the trapezoid mid-segment theorem. Now, the trapezoid mid-segment theorem can be done with any trapezoid. And just a reminder, a trapezoid is uh, any quadrilateral, so four-sided shape with one pair of parallel sides. If I were to take these two legs, the legs are the non-parallel sides, and I was to find the midpoint. So this and this are equal, and this one and this one are equal. If I were to connect those two midpoints with a mid-segment, like that, number one, I've created a new parallel side, and therefore, we have some angle relationships. This and this will be equal because they are corresponding. This and this will be equal because they are corresponding. But even more than that, I've created a relationship between the lengths. What I mean by that is if I were to just label these, let's call them uh, x, y, and z. If I found the average length, meaning I added up x and z, the two bases, and divided by 2, that would be equal to y. y is the average of the other two. So for example, let's, uh, let's work one here. If we put some lengths to this, for example, let's say this was 12 and this was 18. We could figure out why by finding the average. 10 plus 18 over 2 is 14. So this side length is 14. Now, we can also uh, fill in some blanks with this. You know, we could say, using our same algebra, we could say um, this is 9 and this is uh, 14. What's this one? That was Z for us, so I'll keep that as Z. Well, using our same formula, we don't know what Z is, but 9 plus Z divided by 2 equals 14. Well, we could multiply both sides by 2 so that that divides out. So then 9 plus Z equals 28. We can subtract 9 from both sides and we get that z is 19. Now, another way to think about this is that when you do an average of just two numbers like this, if the difference here was 5, you know, we went, uh, our small base was 9 and plus 5 was 14, well, plus another 5 would give us the other one. So that's another way to do it. Uh, the opposite, we could also go the other way. You know, we could say, all right, x plus 20 divided by 2 equals 17. Multiply both sides by 2. So we've got x plus 20 equals 34. Subtract 20, so x is 14. But again, if instead you said, well, this was 20 and this was 3 units smaller, 3 units smaller again would be that 14. So again, there's some algebra we can do here and some, some good problems we can do with the triangle mid-segment theorem, excuse me, trapezoid mid-segment theorem. Um, just remember these relationships, that uh, those angles are corresponding and therefore equal pairs there, and that the length of the mid-segment is the average of the two bases. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more geometry content.